Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a very exciting video because I'm going to be getting new bookshelves, kind of. <laughs> like this one in the middle, that's staying. But I have these like two bookshelves on the side here, which I do love. I think they're fantastic. I'm very grateful to have them. But the thing is the entire bottom half of the bookshelves that I have on the side is just storage and you know the storage is great storage is always good, but I have way too many books to be devoting half of my bookshelves just to storage. So I'm going to be getting some more Billy bookshelves from Ikea. I'm gonna get another one of the full-size ones, and I'm gonna get two skinny ones, which I'm so excited about because I've wanted some skinny Billy bookshelves for a long time because I feel like they're really good for like displaying books. So that's basically the video. <laughs> that's what we're doing today. I'm going to be acquiring bookshelves, building bookshelves, reorganizing my bookshelves. All of the good bookshelf content is going to be happening in this video and then eventually I am going to be doing an updated bookshelf tour. So I am just super excited to get into this video. So yeah, let's do it. So phase one will be going to Ikea to acquire said bookshelves. Phase two will be me taking all of the books off my bookshelves, which sounds like a lot of work because I have a lot of books, but also I think it'll be rather satisfying. So excited for that. Um, phase three is going to be taking out these bookshelves. They're kind of heavy, so please pray for me in advance. And I'm gonna have to build the IKEA bookshelves and put them up, so just kind of revamping my bookshelf um, setup. That's phase three. Phase four, putting them back on the shelves and reorganizing them. Obviously, I'm the most excited for phase four because I love reorganizing my bookshelves. Like, I seriously reorganize them like every few weeks because I, it's just so fun. I love doing it. So to do it on like a grand scale, like doing the whole thing, I can't wait. So without further ado, we are going to get into it. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited for this video as well. And I'm gonna go to Ikea. So let's go. <laughs> just because this is more comfortable. And I have indeed acquired my shelves. I have not brought them in from the car yet just because it's raining right now and that seems seems like a pain. So I haven't done that yet, but I need to like commence with phase two of my plan first. I don't know why I put this into phases to be honest, but we're on to phase two, which is taking all of my books off of my shelves. And I have like 300 books total. Granted, not all of them are on these shelves because a lot of them are in boxes, but I still have a ton of books. So I'm going to take all of these off, stack them in a pile over there, and then I will build the shelves. Well, actually, no, I need to take these shelves out and then I will build the shelves. Also, while I was out earlier, I might have maybe potentially um, stopped by a half price books. And they had volume four of Yona of the Dawn, which I'm so excited about. Like, did I need to buy more books? No. But I didn't own this one and I was, I was excited about it, so I thought I'd mention that. Not that this has anything to do with the video that I'm filming. Theoretically, this only makes my job even harder, but <laughs> I'm excited about it, so. Let's get to taking all of these books off.
So I feel really sweaty now. <laughs> and I just wanted to share that fact with you guys, but I have taken all of the books off my shelves. It looks really satisfying. They're right behind the camera right now. So I'm just like admiring the book stacks. It's nice. So I'm moving on to, what phase is it? I honestly don't remember what I said the phases were and what were in the phases. Um, so I'm moving on to phase insert number here where I am taking these bookshelves out of my room and I'm going to build the other bookshelves. It stopped raining so I can take my bookshelves inside. It's gonna be a good time. So let us commence the bookshelf setup. <laughs> skinny shells done and I'm so freaking excited <laughs> but I'm also so tired and I really want to build the other skinny one and like the other big one tonight so um we'll see how that goes but I am I'm so excited I've always wanted a skinny bookshelf because I want to display books obviously but like more prominently than they would be on like the big shelves so, like I bought the little you know book stand, I think they're for pictures, but like book stand, whatever's, and that can go there. And then I have Bunny here. Ah! Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so good. Stunning, honestly. I can put all of my favorite things on my stands. Look at this. I'm so excited. Okay, this is good stuff. This, this is good stuff. So also, um, I did not bolt these to my wall because I'm irresponsible. So if they fall on me, tis a shame really, but I think it'll be fine. Um, also, I don't know how to bolt things to the wall. I know that they have these things that I could use to bolt them to the wall, but in reality, I was using these in place of a flathead screwdriver, so. I also need to, don't mind this, like this area right here, it's not filled in with book pages yet. I need to fix that because like my other shelf, it jutted out further, but now you can like see where I just didn't do the whole wall, but I'll fix that. I'm gonna build my other two shelves, which I'm not gonna show you because it's just, it's more of the same, but I will be back tomorrow morning, ready and raring to go to organize all of my books on my new shelves and I am so excited. Ew, that was, that was kind of giving Gollum, and I don't like that. Um, and I'm so excited. So I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, with two other shelves. Okay, so it is actually two days later now. I was talking to my mom yesterday, and we both kind of came to the conclusion that, like, maybe I should, <laughs> I should bolt the shelves to the wall, so we did. They're so stable now, it's insane. I'm so excited that, you know, they're not gonna fall on me. So that's always good. But that took a lot of yesterday. And I was like, you know what? I'll just, I'll wait <laughs> to do the, uh, the whole reorganizing process. And it's finally time. And I am beyond, no, I've said excited way too many times in this video, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I am so jazzed to start putting books on these shelves. Like you have no clue. I'm so excited. <laughs> Dang it, I said it again. <laughs> I've been so excited about this process that at one point in time, it was like 2 a.m. and I was like, I don't know what to do. So I decided to kind of make a plan for the shelves that I wanted to do. I don't know if I'm gonna stick to this, but here's, uh, here's what I was working with. 
Yes. I don't know if I'm gonna stick to all of these, but I do think it is a good plan to start with. So I might work off of this, could be helpful. But I have all of my books right here. There are quite a few of them. Last night I was going through and I was trying to find like all of my boxes of books that I brought back from my apartment and they just kept coming. I was like, who let me buy so many books? Like obviously the answer is me. Um, but sometimes that's okay. Cause I now have so many books to put on this shelf and I'm just <laughs> so, I feel so grateful that I have the shelf space. I feel so grateful that I have so many books. So we're just gonna get into it. I think this is gonna be a lengthy process because I am a Libra. I don't know much about astrology, but I do know that that means I am an indecisive bitch. <laughs> and it's true. Like even before I knew what astrology was, even before I recognized the fact that I was a Libra, I was like, yeah, I'm really indecisive, I know. But now that it has been confirmed by the stars, it kind of makes it worse. <laughs> anyway, let's get into bookshelf reorganizing.
you. I've also changed clothes because I wanted to be more comfy, obviously, but I've made quite a bit of progress with my shelves and I wanted to kind of film like a, like a final update before I put on like decorations and stuff because I have done some. Actually, have I? No, I haven't put like any like trinkety type of things on the shelves yet. So I thought I could kind of talk to you before I do that. But honestly, I love them so much. Like, I think they're turning out so well so far and I this is just like the best thing that I've ever done because every time I turn around I'm just like wow <laughs> it's just so good I think oh I have honestly so many favorite shelves the infernal devices shelf like the Illumicrate ones and then my little midnight air on display because I love this tiny book so much obsessed I have like a pink shelf and like purpley shelf obsessed you can't see it but over here I have a vampire shelf it's so good. I have my Yona of the Dawn shelf. Oh my god, I have like a tiny books shelf. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys like a very brief overview of the shelves before I like end this video, but I am going to, like I said earlier, film an updated bookshelf tour where I like really go in depth with things because I want to like point out special editions, just like books that I really like, and I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna give you the brief overview, but I love them so much so far. <laughs> So I'm going to put finishing touches, decor, whatnot, around the shelves. I will show you that and then I'll give you a brief overview and then that will be the end of the video. Honestly, I've been doing this for like three hours now and uh, I'm tired. So I really hope the decorating won't take that long. So let's do it. here 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> right, I have books that I went on haul and I thought I could show you them because I thought that might be kind of interesting. So first of all, um, you might think I'm a clown for this one, but I'm actually gonna be unhauling the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. Not because I don't want to read it because like I do really, really want to read this series. But um, honestly, the more that I look, stop biting that. The more that I look at these covers, like I love the front. I love the front of these covers so much. Like I love the neon, I love the, I, lo I love the illustrations, but I really dislike the spines. Like something about the black and the neon on the spines, I just do not like. So I really want to find a better place for these and I want to buy the UK hardcovers. I think you can still find them online for like a decent price and I would rather have hardcovers of them than these. Um, so yeah, please don't um, call me a clown in the comments for that, but that's just, that's just how it is. Um, this one, actually I'm not unhauling this because this is my parents, more so I'm just kicking it out of my room and I'm gonna go put it on their bookshelf downstairs. What are you doing? She really likes this plant. But this is the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. I had this on my Greek lit shelf, but you're not gonna be able to see my Greek lit shelf. So I'm like, listen, I can go somewhere else. Um, I'm gonna be unhauling the Silmarillion um, because I, <laughs> I bought this directly after I read the Lord of the Rings for the first time. And I do love the Lord of the Rings, but I really don't think I have it in me to read um, this. <laughs> So I'm going to find a better place for it. I'm also gonna be unhauling The American Roommate Experiment by Elena Armas. I just don't care enough about this book to have it in my collection anymore. I'm also gonna unhaul The Dark Vault by Victoria Schwab, or V.E. Schwab, I guess is what she wrote this one under, but I just don't care enough um, about this book. I haven't heard great things about either of the books that are in this bind up. I'm also going to be unhauling some of my Penguin Black spines. The first one is East of Eden. I hauled this one last summer. I bought it for like $2 and I was like, it's fine if I don't read it sometime soon because it's a classic. And then I was like, also by the same token, I can probably find this for like $2 when I actually want to read it, which probably won't be for a while, so. I'm just gonna unhaul it for now. And then I also have more Greek lit things. So I have the three Theban plays by Sophocles and the Lysistrata and other plays by Aristophanes. So I don't have a use for these anymore. So I'm just gonna unhaul them. I'm also gonna be getting rid of Ovid's The Metamorphosis just because if I ever do want to read, you know, some um, epic poetry, first of all, I would rather reread The Odyssey or The Iliad, which I found out I have like three copies of The Odyssey, but I'm gonna keep them all anyway. <laughs> but I also, I do not like this cover whatsoever. This is a required text that I had for a class and I don't think I ever ended up actually using it. So that's gotta go. And then <laughs> I have something which I've been back and forth on whether I want to unhaul, but I think I am going to get rid of them. And that is <laughs> Kingdom of the Wicked and Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. I, I don't know why, but the third book in this series just turned me off from the series so much. <laughs> and I'm just like, I don't care. Like, I don't dislike the series. I'm just like, I don't care enough to have these on my shelf. So I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of them. Cause I don't need these. I also don't really love the spines of these books. So I'm like, I don't, I mean, they're not looking that good on my shelf. So I'm like, they can, they can go, that's fine. Because I just want my shelf to be full of books that I absolutely love. And I just don't absolutely love any of these books that I'm gonna be unhauling, even though I haven't read some of them, but that's okay too. So I'm going to stand up and give you guys a brief overview of my shelves. I added some lights on top. I added some little decor, you can't even see this. Um, <laughs> decorations and whatnot. And I love it so much. I also have like one plan for this shelf. You also can't see this shelf. Okay, I'm gonna turn you this way. I also have a, like a, a mini plan. I really wanna get like a little house moving castle, like figurine, like movie figurine thing to like put in front of this because I just think it's so fun. Do you think it's fun, Winnie? God, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> okay, shelf overview time. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and point to things. <laughs> so right here I have like big adult hardcovers that don't really fit into any genres that I currently have. I have my tiny book shelf, which is basically just like mass market paperbacks and a bunch of tiny versions of classics. It's like Stephen King and classics. My vampire shelf, which I love so much. Um, my Stormlight shelf, mainly like YA fantasy paperbacks, red and white and black shelf. 
my The Last Hours in the Infernal Devices shelf, yes, I have enough additions now to fill up a whole shelf. Don't talk about it. Don't say it. Um, I have some, you know, some of these are favorite fantasies, some of these are just a fantasy that fits. Moving over. Avatar shelf. Duh. <laughs> Plant shelf. Infernal Devices shelf. Um, pink and purple shelf. Here we have classics and like modern classics. This shelf we have books with romance that's like the subplot or like the main plot. And then here, I don't even know what this shelf is to be honest. And then uh, we don't have to talk about that shelf. She's so interested in literally everything. Um, we have my Yona of the Dawn shelf. Obviously, we already know what's coming. Um, what are these? Like graphic novels and such. Here we have just more fantasy, more fantasy. My middle grade shelf, which I was so excited um, when I found the rest of my middle grade books because like halfway through this organization, I was like, I'm missing books. And a lot of them were on this shelf. I love this shelf. And we have my historical romance, whatever mystery thing going on. Here we have my Greek lit and the Percy Jackson series because that's Greek. And then down here we have Stephen King and random books that I didn't know what to do with. So they're kind of just hanging out there now. But that's it. I'm so tired. That is the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I, like I said before, had such a fun time filming this. So I hope you guys also really liked it. If you did, please do let me know down below. How do you guys organize your shelves? I, how do I organize my shelves? I would say it's probably genre, even though like 75% of my book collection is fantasy. So really it's all organized by genre, but yeah, I think genre makes sense. What have you found to play with now? I swear, every time I film a video where I'm like specifically like walking around in my room, Winnie is just like always here, always being a menace. So, um, hope you enjoyed any any Winnie content that was in this video. Um, but yeah, that that is everything. I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching again. Did I already say that? I don't know if I already said that. But thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye bye, Winnie. She said no. <laughs>